Hello and welcome to another edition of AC with Wacy. Yes, we have a cute name to go with all of our short videos now. After some uh, heavy persuasion by a few people that I know, we decided that uh, it was too good of an opportunity to pass up AC with Wacy. Um, just doing a short video here related to some calls I was running uh, earlier today. I don't I don't know why, but it seems like uh, I've run into a couple of these lately. I want to say like three in about four months. So I figured I would make a short video just as as a uh, uh, helpful tip, I guess. But I've had three homes in the last four months or so that have called me and had me go out to uh, to look at different things that need fixed because they're having to redo or take off their spray foam because the spray foam was not properly sprayed in the first time and the mixture was off or uh, any number of things and uh, it's a very costly uh, very time consuming process but along with that um, if your mixture of spray foam is off you you can have off gassing and some different things that are very detrimental to your health and uh, it's very hard to get out of a home once it gets started so uh, i've got one particular lady that has had her uh, her house like the roof line and everything stripped and laid batting insulation back in but she's in the process of trying to go through and and find enough money or recover enough money um, to basically take out all of her ceiling and her sheetrock and her walls to get rid of the foam that was improperly applied and uh, and she's probably going to have to replace her roof line as well and uh, in the meantime she's had uh, multiple health conditions arise because of it and uh, there was no there was no uh, fresh air intake on the building when I got there. Uh, we're going to be installing some to basically try to suck all the air that we can out of the home and pull it into a negative pressure to to try to alleviate some of the dangerous gases that are there. And then once everything's redone, we'll obviously implement a, a correct fresh air system and everything. Um, I have another customer that uh, we're just looking at redoing some of the penetrations and, and venting out that had a good fresh air system and everything installed. It was actually a very well done AC install. Um, it had fresh air intake, had dehumidifiers, but the spray foam was improperly applied and it's basically falling off of all of his ceiling and they're going to have to strip it and redo it. So I guess... The point of this video is it's very important that you do the fresh air and all of that stuff that you're needing because um, if you run into a situation down the line to where you're dealing with off gassing and stuff that fresh air will offset some of it it's not going to offset all of it but at least you're getting some fresh air in there um, but the other thing is is when you're building a home or you're looking at redoing your home and you're going to get a spray foam contractor please take the time to make sure that they are qualified and know what they're doing. They've been through the training. They've been in the business and done multiple homes that they um, take care with what they do because um, it doesn't just lead to bad, bad insulation on your home. A bad spray foam job has, has multiple uh, health effects and it's very costly to fix. Um, very difficult to fix down the road so I know there's there's a lot of people out there that buy a trailer and they start spraying foam because there's no there's no sort of certification required by the state to spray foam so um, guys will just pick up trailers and start doing it and not not that everyone that just started in it is bad at what they do or aren't qualified I'm just saying try to make sure you do your research and make sure that they have been through the training and are doing what they should be doing. Um, but uh, anyways, just a little information video for y'all. Uh, remember to follow the YouTube channel if you get a chance. Uh, follow us on Facebook, whatever uh, you need. And uh, 
we'll try i think on uh on sunday of this week we'll have a uh we're actually doing our indoor air quality fresh air video uh, the sunday videos are a bit longer video but uh quite a bit of information in them i encourage you to check them out um the one last week was indoor air quality and different types of filtration and air purity stuff but in the meantime thanks for stopping by and we'll catch you next time